Professor Clements with you again. Another example of calculating resistance, calculating current, and calculating power in a circuit. Here we have a 6 volt battery. We have a pure carbon rod that's 3.6 meters long, has a diameter of 6 millimeters. We're going to first calculate resistance, then calculate current, then calculate the power. The uh, uh, geometry uh, formula we'll need is calculating the resistance would be the cross-sectional area of the rod using pi r squared of course for that. So calculating the resistance we look up the resistivity of the carbon from a table in uh, the OpenStax College physics textbook 3.5 times 10 to the minus 5 and the addition of the OpenStax book that I was looking at this is plus 5 that's an error should be minus 5 and then 3.6 meters for the length in our situation pi r squared 6 meters for dia 6 millimeters for the diameter 3 millimeters for the radius and 10 to the minus 3 brings us to the units of meters that we need so we get square meters for the area. Putting those factors in we get 4.46 ohms. You should pause the video and uh, double check that. So let's go a little further. To calculate the current V equals IR. Solve for I. That means when you take voltage divided by the resistance the circuit has a 6 volt battery in it. We divide by the resistance we just found and we get 1.35 amps. Then for power, we can use the uh, uh, calculation power is equal to the current in the element of the circuit multiplied by the potential difference across that element of the circuit. We've found 1.35 amps. The only uh, uh, item attached to our battery is this uh, carbon rod, assuming the wires are ideal and having no resistance in the wires in the circuit. Uh, so we have 6 volts across the carbon and 8.1 watts. Another way to calculate if the material is ohmic material, obeys Ohm's law, then power equals the square of the current multiplied by the resistance. We found the, the current 1.35 amps. We square that. We multiply by the resistance that we found earlier, 4.46 ohms. Again, we get 8.1 watts. Just another sample problem on the uh, steps that might be involved in calculating the characteristics of a circuit for resistance, current, and power. Professor Clements signing off.